So today we're going to start writing our words from our brainstorm sheet in our um, waves of color that we created. So you can see here I have my top three sections. I'm just going to show you in these. So the biggest trick to this is you want to, each time you write any letter, you want to touch the bottom of your space and the top. So the letter, and I'm going to do this with pencil, so if I make a mistake, I'm going to write, I am to start. Notice that I'm using this bottom contour, I'm making the I shaped like that. Then the A, the A is going to start at the blue, go all the way through, up, and then back down to the blue. Do Same I with the M. Up, all the way down to the blue. I am, and then I'm going to put dot dot dot. The next one, I'm going to start here and I'm going to write funny. So my F is going to be small, touching the top of the purple and the bottom of the purple. The U, again, filling up that entire shape, entire space. If you want to do a lowercase, that's fine, but the lowercase should be taking up the whole space. Again, up to the top of the purple and then down and then the Y. So it fills up that whole space. Next, this next space is kind of light. So I'm going to use a white pencil for this. And I'm going to write another one. So I'm going to write S and then touching the top and the bottom. Again, if it wants to be lowercase, that's fine. It just has to be really big and take up the whole space. So the A, I want a lowercase a. Notice it touches the top and the bottom the top and the bottom. Top of my T is going to form the top of the shape. Okay, the next one, how about we write, so remember some part of me is sad and I said it's because of COVID. Remember, you can mix up uppercase and lowercase letters. So when you are done, you could either use colored pencil to go over it or you can use Sharpie. So if I have a dark colored Sharpie, let's say a green might even work over this. Or I could keep going in the white. The white looks actually pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with the white. So then that's the last thing we would do is go over our letters so we can see them. If you're confident that you can do it in one fell swoop and not use pencil first, all the power to you. And then my last one and you'd fill up your entire sheet. Now, how are you going to end it? You are going to end it by saying, I am, and then your first name. So down in your last area, down here, way, way, way down here. I haven't colored mine yet, but my last area is down there. I would do I am, oops, as I spell it wrong, I am, and I'd put my first name. And that's it.